friends, welcome to the finale of the New York City apartment hunting vlog series. I wanted to really say thank you to everyone that has watched up until now. This one, finally, we chose the apartment that works for us. Here goes the final part and all the craziness that happened in between. All right, this is another day of New York apartment hunting. I am so exhausted, but I'm making the most out of it. So this is basically, this is the building. So there are apartments that have balconies and everything. And then this apartment we're seeing is just this little sliver. basketball court. I don't know what's going on up there, but I don't know if I'm a fan of it being construction. It's quiet right now. I'm gonna wait to see when the train comes. Kitchen. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because the realtor double booked, so he couldn't be here, so he was trying to give me the code to get in, and it wasn't working at first, but there's like a lot of a lot of countertop space, which we love. Dishwasher, which we love. Definitely have to get curtains for privacy. Fridge. Everything down here opens. Okay, that's cool. This is a drawer. It's kind of like stuck. There we go. Well, that's a big drawer. All right. Boom, boom. Here's the bathroom. Ugly tiles, but it's all right. It has a bathtub. Here's a tub that really needs to be cleaned. But I honestly like this place. storage. This bathroom needs cleaning. There was like poop stains. I guess right here there could be something for extra storage. The subway is actually passing now. It's loud but I don't know. I don't think it's like that obnoxious to be honest. And this road, like cars do pass here but it's a small road so I don't see it being like Super loud. Like that wasn't like obnoxiously loud. I honestly think that was fine. And then the bedroom, which again, no closet. I don't know why these buildings have no damn closet. There is graffiti on the, I don't think you can really avoid that from happening, but. Okay, someone's literally outside. Once again, my only complaint is that there's no Little things I'm noticing that need fixing. Up there needs to be fixed, and then whatever's going on here. It looks like there's a remote control for the fan. And for maybe this. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna walk to the subway, show you how close that is. Yeah, down that road, there's a couple of really cute houses. I, I do like the neighborhood. A little bakery. That's literally where the subway is. It's right in front of the building, the entrance. The J train takes you to Williamsburg, it takes you to Manhattan. But I love that the entrance is right there. Okay, so now I'm in the main building. This is the bottom floor. There's restrooms down here and they have 
the laundry room here. So you do have to go outside and come downstairs in order to do laundry. And I don't know how busy it gets because there's only two machines. And then there is a gym. It's tiny, but I guess if you want to just use the treadmill or elliptical, there's a gym in here. And this is in the basement of the main building. Like near this place is pretty cute. Maybe it like looks nicer because it's sunny out today, but I like it. It's cute. It's calm. It looks pretty chill. Nothing abnormal. This little Brooklyn area. This is the street that the other apartment's on. A lot more chill, not right next to the subway. I still think it's a close walk. I have to double check, but it's cute. It's cute. It's giving. Just saw the first apartment. The pros were that everything's new. Everything's renovated. There's a dishwasher. There is a laundry in building, but it was, you know, there's only two machines or one machine each. And I don't know how busy that will get. So most likely we would have to use a laundromat. There is a tiny gym. So the amenities were okay. I think there was a rooftop. The realtor wasn't there to show me it, but I saw someone hanging out up there. The apartment that I saw is to the side. It's not on the main building, but it's like to the side. So it's on the first floor. So it has its own entrance, which is good and bad. It's good for like my dog ranger we could just take him out really quickly it's bad because you don't know what kind of people are going to be right outside your window that's always freaked me out being on the first floor like that anybody could just literally be right next to where you're sleeping or just in your office also the subway passes by right next to it i didn't think it was that obnoxiously loud but i just don't know how often that sound is going to be so those are a couple of the cons but a huge pro for me is that the entrance to the j train is literally right across the street which is great there's a lot of places that you can get with the j train and not having to walk is great so i'm now i'm at the second apartment it's a quieter street which i love i'm gonna see i don't know that many details about like the walk-ups and everything i can't get anything that has too much of a walk-up because of ranger and it's about a 14 minute walk to the train i counted it was like five or six blocks so i think while i wait because i have like 45 minutes i'm gonna walk to the subway station just to see how i feel about the neighborhood and see how i feel about that walk in general and i'll come back it's one two three this is the street i'm gonna walk to the subway because i have like 45 minutes to spare but it's super quiet here I just walked to the subway, maybe five or six blocks, but honestly not that bad. This is a park that's right next to the apartment. It's about a, on the same block, but I like it. Basketball courts, seems pretty chill. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Maybe it's worth having that quiet street and having a bit more of a walk to the subway because it's not like we're commuting to Manhattan every day. It's more of like a leisure thing. I'd rather have the peace of the everyday kind of quietness. Just whenever we want to go to the city, just know we're not that far. Like how quiet the neighborhood is. Like it's, nice. it's, it's actually really nice. The unit too faces like the backyard that we are here, so no okay. street noise or cool. ambiances and things. Like I that. know that's we actually live on a busy street now in, yeah. in Connecticut, so it's kind of funny to come here and be more quiet. But I do like that there's closets because some of the newer builds, I don't know why they don't put closets. It's kind of bizarre. I know they get they get a little, uh, <laughs> a little crazy with us sometimes. Yeah. It, it does also have a uh, storage unit. Downstairs too. Oh great, that's awesome. I like the fire escape. Nice, yeah. 
Definitely not. Yes, yeah. I really like it. Um, sure backyard space out for sure. Area. So yeah, I'm just assuming the heater and everything is with the building, and then the AC would be like just the exactly. window AC. Yep. Heating okay. Included. Cool. Awesome. No, I really like this. This is cute. All this is in the post, but I'll take a little video either yeah, way. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, this is cool. Red door. That's where we started with the sidewalk. Okay. So it's a straight shot. Right cool. In. Cool. And let's see. I don't get. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty relaxed with it. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. You get a good view of the skyline, actually. Cool. Cool. That's always free to go to as well. Yeah, this is awesome. My dog would love it out here. <laughs> Right after seeing apartment number two, really loved it, really wanted to apply right away and make sure that everything went right. But in the meantime, I was like, I want to go to a cute record store nearby. That's one of my goals, like while I'm in New York City is to go to like as many record stores and just check those out. So I saw one that was close by and it was actually back where the first apartment was. So I went back to that side, like where Broadway is, where, you know, the subway underneath the subway station. And I went to that record store, it was super cool. I'll put the name up here if anyone else wants to go check it out. And then right after, as I was walking to my car was when that incident happened, when that man cat called me, told me I had nice legs and then lunged at me and tried to grab me. And for me, that was like the omen of, okay, I do not need to live in this area and I need to apply for the second apartment where it was like the kind of quiet neighborhood, like a little farther out from the subway. And every day I'm so grateful that I did, but I take every little sign from the universe to the heart. And to me, that was a sign that that was not the right place for me. So after that happened, and that same night, we started putting our applications in, started getting everything ready to go for that. I'm gonna put my application in for the second place I saw today. It was the only one that I thought was a really good price for being two bedrooms. It do doesn't have much of a living room, but that's okay because we're not really looking for a traditional living room. We mainly want to have a separation between the bedroom and the office. And then it's even better that it's two bedrooms because then the one room could be an office and then we'll, we can just have um, a reading chair or maybe like a small couch that pulls out the kitchen has all the appliances we need it's on the second floor so it's not that bad for ranger to walk up and down the stairs it has a stoop it's on a quiet street i walked to both subway stations nearby and um it was a decent walk one of them was like seven minutes long the other one was like 14 minutes long and i didn't have really any issues um the only issue i had Walking alone as a woman was actually closer to the first apartment. Um, this man tried to grab me, literally said nice legs, and I dodged him. Luckily, he just kind of whatever, but I would have probably whacked him with my umbrella if he actually kept trying, but this is the reason why. Either way, I'm gonna have um, a stun gun. They have these cute like frog stun guns that I'm gonna get and then pepper spray. Um, hopefully, you know, that's not like a consistent thing that happens, um, but. I don't think it will be. I think it's just that area that is like kind of under the subway with a lot of going down there. Um, but this is why I, I think I prefer the quieter street. I'm gonna put in my application and, and let's see what happens. Literally having the craziest week of my life, but just got approved for an apartment. And I'm just like, my emotions are like everywhere because I'm excited, I'm scared. I'm doing something that doesn't really make sense to be doing but it's always made sense in my head to just do and life just said just do it it's the last few months of my 20s i'm moving to new york city i'm moving to brooklyn like what like i know that to some people that's just like not a big deal but i'm just like what the hell i'm feeling every emotion there's also just something personal going on in our lives um, with a loss in our family. So it's like, I've gone from like crying to being happy, to being sad, to being happy again, to being mad. There's just so many, it's just everything everywhere all at once, you know? I mean, I, I really think that's just how it goes in life. Like everything just happens all at once. And I'm not one to stay stagnant. I'm, I'm just not one to, get too comfortable. I really want to live and do new things and 
experience new things. As long as I'm safe and we're safe and we're healthy and we're happy, then I'm happy. Like we're doing this. Like I, I can't be tied down to a job. I can't be tied down to anything. I am gonna continue working my job I have right now, but I have to tell them that I'm gonna be remote. At least like the rest of spring and summer, I want to be fully remote. And hopefully by the time fall comes around, I have something else crossing my fingers that this is gonna bring me new opportunity that I've been looking for. So I just wanted to update everyone. <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. After we got approved, we had to just wait for the apartment to be fully ready. So during that time, we had to take a road trip to Georgia for a funeral of our really, 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 really dear, close friend, family, just incredible human being, Charlie, who we will miss very much. We did go to his memorial and I'm so glad that we did that. Even in the middle of the chaos of apartment hunting, it was such a special few days that I will never forget. And I just wanna say thank you to Charlie because he was a huge help for us in order to get this apartment. And if it wasn't for Charlie, I just don't know if it would have happened because he was just like our moral support, our moral guy, just everything. He was everything and we'll miss him so much. Thank you.